starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous, isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. to see a scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault. Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So I suppose we're even. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own. With loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <sighs> It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... They've got... Community planning. Blech! Sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Ah! It's a slippery slope, Jesse. Today, the lava house... Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing? Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. <laughs> Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? Hey, um, sorry about your house. Oh, now you're sorry? I'm sorry that I live in a time where people don't appreciate true genius! Ah, uh, would you get over yourself already so Jesse can show you what we found in the jungle? What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're gonna tear this down, we better start getting some buckets together to scoop up all the lava. You got any iron? Oh man, no, I'm all out. <sighs> okay, we better go mine some more. 
We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we give this majestic house the funeral it deserves. Right, what he said. Sounds good, I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's been ages. Where were you? Oh, you know, just helping to rebuild and stuff. Weatherstorm left a big mess out there. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. They have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> Okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh! I hate that guy! Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh. Yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! No! Ah, dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. Okay, Spill, what's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? So, what's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? The Ever... What now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment, but how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse, and that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, Eversources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. 
<laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. So, you think it's the right place, then? Oh, yes, Jesse. Oh, yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Excited, Ivor. Excited. I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, sir. Uh, once we find it, that is. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. Well, that so seems they promising. So they hid it a place where it would never be found. And how... Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> it's some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. That's a weird-looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. 
You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you can understand, Aiden. Give it back. Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Thank you. Definitely don't want to fall down there. Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing. Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal, the Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. You guys see that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be. The Eversource. The city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world. And then we can't even go anywhere. Okay, people, you know the drill. What did you guys bring with you? That's my private business. Didn't exactly bring a whole lot. Why? Because we're building a bridge, and it'll take everything we have. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. You know, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? This is in memory of my lava house. Long live lava! Your building. I... You... I... I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh, you don't know? Y you, 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 you were building. A unauthorized building is against the law. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This, this makes no sense. No sense at I, all. I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? Oh, geez, I'm sorry. We had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez. First those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. I'm super busy. Sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous.
Wow. Incredible. What's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at it. It looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly, the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel and he's up to no good, but we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The Blaze Rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. <laughs> 